To understand the importance of wildlife corridors, you must begin with the understanding that nature has a nature of its own. Its own rules and hierarchies, roles and functionality, each of them is designed to preserve its balance. Long ago, before continuous modernization spread across the world, animals would have their undisturbed ecosystems where they could feed, mate, migrate. Lands of man and lands of wildlife had clear boundaries, and these lands were enough for both. Local communities, animal and human, lived peacefully on both sides of these borders. Along with development came landscape fragmentation that took over important areas used by wildlife species, and many conflicts appeared. More and more of nature's safe havens became parts of the human world, leaving animals isolated on small patches of land and communities nearby more exposed to human-animal conflict. Ecological corridors can connect these patches of green, helping the animal population migrate, find mates and food, find shelter, and sustain life as their nature asks it. Lands that were once an oasis of tranquility and green are now highways, residential areas, and other human developments. Animals are forced to migrate through unsafe human areas and end up under cars or hunted down by local communities. Lacking a healthy ecosystem to serve its needs, the animal population has decreased close to extinction over the years. A healthy, complex ecosystem provides many services, clear air, clean water and productive lands. Nature and wildlife can bring people many benefits as well. Recreation, wildlife observation. Identifying, ensuring and protecting wildlife corridors and connected habitats will help animal life and local communities bloom and flourish in safe places where nature does what it does better. It renews itself.